Hello everyone, myself is Vinod. Today we are going to learn to fetch the record from the table stored in MS SQL Server and dis display it in our web page. In the last video, we have learned to create a waveform and submit the data into the table created in MS SQL Server. Let us start. Start MS SQL Server. Trilar SQL Server opening. Also start the Visual Studio 2012. Our last project is Students Web. Open it. And check the table created in MS SQL Server. First of all, make the connection. Click on Connect. Extend this database. Our database is Institute DB. Extend it and extend the table. Here, the table we had created in MS SQL Server. Extend it. How many columns are there? There are six columns. Now, we want to see that what are the records stored in this table. Right click on this table and click on edit top 200 rows. It will display the records stored in this table. Wait for a moment. Yes, there are two records. Now, we want to display these two records in our waveform. So, how will you do this? Let us go in Visual Studio 2012. I am opening the uh, last project we had created. The name of our project is Students Wave. Now here in Solution Explorer, you can see the waveform we had created with the name default.aspx. Today, we will create a waveform with the name list.aspx. Yes, this is the form we had created in the last session. So, right click on this student wave, go to the option add, click on add new item. See the name of the file is default2.aspx. Let us change the name of this file to make it meaningful. Actually, we want to display the list. so. We are assigning the name of this file as list, list.aspx. Be careful, here should be Visual C Sharp and here should be Waveform. Now click on Add. Yes, our file got created. Now here we will take grid view. From where you will take the grid view? Scroll down the toolbox and here you can see that a topic is data and under this topic there is an option called grid view. You can double click on this grid view. Now just check how it is looking in design view. Yes, it is our grid view. So, we want to display the records in this grid view. Go to the option source. So, make it more meaningful. Create a table here. Table TR for row and TD. And under, under this table, you cut this grid view and paste it and now here you set the property of this table write down style equal to width 800 px margin auto margin auto will 
position the table at the center of the screen. You can see in the design. Yes, but the size of our grid view is small. So set it to 100 percent. Set it to 100 percent. It will be adjusted in your table created. The width of the table is 800. So the size of this grid view, grid view is also now 800 pixel. Now we have to write the program to fetch the record from the SQL server. To do this, you will have to go in the file list.aspx.cs where we will program where we will write the program in C sharp. First of all, add the header file using system.data.sql client. One more header file we will have to add here system.data because here we are going to use a class that is the name of that class is data table and that table that class is stored in this is system.data now first of all make the connection sql connection write down sql connection this is the name of the class write down the, create an object c equal to new sql connection and as we had learned in the last session that we need to pass four parameters so let us pass the four parameters write down data source where you will find the data source name of the data source go to sql server click on connect and here the server name is there copy it and write it equal to then paste it put a semicolon here now the second parameter initial catalog initial catalog equal to here we write the name of the database name of our database is institute db so write down institute db then user id user id equal to sa password equal to abc123 dollar star close in water comma close the bracket and put the semicolon here Now we have written connection string. We have created connection string. Now as we start this page, list.aspx, as we go in this uh, file, we want to see the list of the records stored in a SQL server. So how will you fetch the data from the SQL server and display it here? Write down the name of the class SQL use the cover class sql command create an object cmd initialize it name sql command and write down your sql query sql query so write like this select star from name of the table is students select star from students then close the inverted comma as you know that this sql query display all the records from the table students comma then write down the name of the connection string that is c close here we will use the sql data adapter da equal to initialize it new sql data adapter and here we pass the parameter the parameter is the name of the object of the SQL command that is CMT and then use the class data table create an object DT initialize it new data table this data table creates a location in the memory where we store the records temporarily so to store the record in the data table we write da dot function is fill 
da dot fill dt d is the name of the data adapter and dt is the name of the data table the dt now now we will have to access the data access the table from the data table in our grid view so we will have to populate the records from the data table to our grid view write down grid view name of our grid view is grid view 1 dot data source equal to dt and finally we need to bound bound it so we will write here grid view 1 dot data bind data bind is a function now your records will be populated in grid view and will be fixed with the function data bind now let us check it is it working or not click on click here yes you can see the record here the record we had stored in this a001 a002 here you can see that a001 and a002 thank you for watching this video